Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a cup of tea and a slice of game. Today's game is none other than Interrogation You Will Be Deceived, which personally I think is somewhat presumptuous, as I'm the smartest man that has ever lived and will absolutely have no bother. <clears throat> anyway, we are going to crack straight on in. This is an investigation game. came out in late 2019. I've never played it before. I know next to nothing about it. But we're going to jump in, and we're going to have a jolly good investigation time. You know, it might say that it says continue. That is just because I set the difficulty. Uh, that is the only thing I have done. This will hopefully tell us what is going on. So... Welcome. This will be the first drill session of the investig that's a good start. Investigative interview and interrogation techniques. Those are a lot of long words that begin with I. Uh, we'll be bringing in a subject. Uh, they're a trained actor, but should be fully in character for the duration of the interview. I'm considered invisible and inaudible by the actor, but I'll be guiding you along. Okay. I should also point out that this game had three different difficulty settings. I picked the middle one. Because I don't want to cry, and but on the flip side, I don't want it to be too easy either. So before any interrogation, the first thing to do is consult the subject's file. This should give you the uh, vital insights into the case, helping you to identify what information or confession needs to be extracted. I do like, just to kind of start things off of, in general, the art style. It seems really nice, the overall quality. I have played quite a few mystery games, and so far, this one isn't bad. Um, so, let's actually have a look. So we have supervisor approval, don't need that. Some sort of number. Location of occurrence, that'll probably be important. Victim name, scene narrative, that'll be blur. And, ah, oh, so it's a bike theft, or oh, high stakes. I mean, I, I don't mean to, you know, if your bike's been stolen, I am sorry. But it's not exactly murder. Uh, so, Douglas Bird is played by an actor. As per the instructor's directions, treat the actor the same you would as any real subject. Mr. Bird, despite coming from well-off parents, has taken to bike theft. Ooh. A ne'er-do-well. I see. A miscreant. We have plenty of circumstantial evidence. Because none of it is direct, however, we need to leverage all the leads in order to get his full confession. So, I assume that's the bike in question. There's a lovely picture there. Ah. I see interesting choice of photos here so his eyes are blue yeah glad they tell us that because the whole game being in black and white uh, uh, would have a clue 26 good age uh complexion type 2 okay wait as uh, is 5 uh, yeah charge theft yeah 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 so douglas bird is our main subject for several bicycle thefts at a local university campus several eyewitnesses confirmed his description something i haven't actually picked up on yet i'm assuming this is kind of vaguely american based i'm not entirely sure but it would be good to know whether this is kind of a more european or american leaning thing because the attitudes to investigation and crime in general might be quite different um so we have cct cctv footage showing a masked figure matching the subject description jumping on a unsupervised bicycle riding off fast he's currently listed as unemployed living in a rented apartment paid for by his parents Ooh, god he is easy to hate uh, his criminal record is clean, but he is known to be friends with several narcotics abusers, as well as a roommate who is a sus suspected marijuana dealer. Okay. I think I'm drawing a picture. Um, so, when you're done checking the files, you can bring in the suspect. Be careful, though. Now is not the case. But when it will be time-sensitive situation, this is when the clock will start. That's, I don't know if I'm just reading that weird or is the English weird there. Be careful, though. Now is not the case. But, oh. Yeah, now is not the case. But when it, it is a time-sensitive situation, that is when the top, the, the clock starts ticking. Okay. Bring them in. Let's have a chat with old Dougie Bird. There he is. See, I quite like that animation style that they have. It's all right. So... Uh, first things first, let's just try and straight up ask him. You can check the accusation question every now and then to get a sense of whether you're close to a confession. Um, you can check. So, yeah, let's talk about a question. We both know you did it. Come on. Or, why did you steal bikes, Douglas? Well, I think that's easy. I think we're just going to ask him straight up. Why did you steal bikes? Oh. Oh, no. 
I ain't steal no bikes, Brosif. We'll see if the quality of writing holds up. That's a worrying sign. Like a worrying sign. So surprisingly it didn't work. We need to get the subject in the right state of mind to give us answers. How do we do that? We have the following tools in which we can use to state to work out what state the subject is in. That is not what I was expecting. This shows us how open the subject is by looking at the pupil dilation cooperated with a few other signals. The wider the pupils are, the more open the subject is. Okay. Okay, so that's how open he is to us. This top one is how scared he is by measuring pulse as well as other bodily symptoms. The quicker the heart rate, the more scared he is. All right, okay. You can influence these meters in all sorts of ways. Yeah, I can imagine. From building a personal connection to exploiting their background, from cordering them in contradictions to... R to roughing them up. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, it's that kind of game. Well, Dougie Bird, you're in for a beating, mate. All right, let's try to build a connection first, so... Some questions will alienate the subject instead of bringing them closer. Other questions will seem disingenuous if they're approached too suddenly. You'll probably want to start off as soft as possible. So, um, says in your file your folks are loaded. What's the matter? They cut you off. That's not particularly soft. Um, says in your file your folks are loaded. You steal for fun. Um... Hey, living's expensive, I know. I used to crack payphones when I was a teen. Hmm. See, that is, to me, is what he was talking about, about being disingenuous, because I also don't think that's... Well, I didn't do that. Anyway. I can't believe they have me chasing bikes. Why can't people just lock them up proper? See, that, to me, is the... If he wants us to... I think that, that to me is the most kind of authentic. Um, we'll hopefully get him to talk about it. They seem amused. Yeah, okay, it worked. It's stupid, man. Waste of taxpayers' money and all that. Okay. Good, you seem more authentic. Yeah, so that meter has risen a little bit. So now we can get a little bit closer. So that's in your file, you folks are loaded. What's the matter? They cut you off. Yeah, okay, I was slightly worried about that. This. So today, but now we're trying to build infinite. Yeah. Alright, I guess then I'm going to have to say this one. Yeah, it's just that to me was weird. But I guess... I guess I can just lie as a policeman. Yeah, me talking about whether or not it's American or not, I think a massive gun strapped to his is a like kind of shows us where we're meant to be be meant to, meant to be at. Anyway. So yeah. Apparently I'm a criminal as well, I've just told him. Right, so we've opened up some more. Um that is why the meter now shows a wider circle than it was at the beginning. Okay. Now let's see if we can scare him. You don't want to jump to to big threats off the bat. So don't be afraid to ask a question more than once. Oh, God, that's going to be a nightmare. I'm not going to want to do that because it feels daft, but that is going to be really important. Okay. Asking again with the subject in a different state or with new information on the table can yield new results. Okay, so we're not just banging on at the same question for no reason. Okay. That helps. So if we don't have a deal and you're found guilty, it's absolutely prison time. I can only give you a deal if you plead guilty. Um... See, that's probably what he's talking about, about don't, don't just jump in. Did the drugs make you do it? Hmm, well, we know he hangs around with loads of drug dealers. I'll go for it. They say with confidence, I'm clean. Oh, yeah, we didn't seem scared, that's fine. Do you know how many monks, monks, <laughs> months you do for bike theft? That, that seems, that seems better. They state timidly, nah, man, I ain't worried about that. Yeah, you are. tough you'll be uh do i jump in i'm gonna jump in 
I'm gonna go for that. I can only give you a deal if you speak. Oh no, I'm gonna just say, "Hey, you're tough. You'll be fine, uh, prison." I'm sure. Yeah, I'm gonna go for this one. No, I could be wrong. Yeah, you don't do time for snatching bikes, do you? My dad works for a senator. I'll be fine. It's on social reveal. New information you can further pursue. Okay, so you think the senator will risk his career for the sake of a bike snatching kid? Probably not. Yeah, you are upset now. There we go, getting there. That's put him in a good place to negotiate. Okay, yeah, so you can't immediately jump in and request negotiations. You do actually need to fully scare them first. That makes sense now. So, I did do the right thing. So, there you go. Now, when we mention the deal, he's more okay for it. We've got him. As you see, his pulse is much faster right now. Okay, so this is off the record, but I want to know... But I want you to know your options, he says, sneakily off to the side for some reason. At any time, you can stop the recorder down there tracking your questioning. This will make people suspicious. The public will ask what happened when the recording was stopped. You'll be accused, but ultimately... It's your word against theirs. In a pinch, though, it's something to consider. Oh, so you already know that this game is going to throw a bunch of, like, moral quandaries. Which, don't get me wrong, that's a good thing. It's just stressing me out for future. Uh, something to consider. You have means of enhanced interrogation. Oh, yeah. So essentially, I can just smack him about. That sounds delightful. Oh, yeah, that's such a scared faster. Try a couple out. The actual just pretends to be her. Why is this in my police training? Oh, okay, there are some other things. I can taser him. Right, well, first of all, I'm going to go to the wall slam, because that is the, you know, least criminal. Oh, no, I've slammed him into the wall. Oh, no. All right, let's just... Oh, okay, so that was actually the, uh... Okay, so if you beat them up too much, they pass out as well. Fantastic. What a great policeman I am. Okay, yeah, sometimes we've got a limited amount of time as well, so we're going to have to go really, really pacey. That is going to be tricky when I'm also talking at the same time and trying to explain my thought processes. But, yeah, so sometimes you'll be interrogating more than one guy. Switch, but, oh, oh, my God, this is going, this game's going to give me a headache. you be interrogating more than one guy. Switch between rooms. Be sure to cross-reference the information they give you. Okay. Anyway, you'll need to keep your manual after you finish the academy. It's great for refreshing your memory about what you learned today. Okay, wrap this up. I think we're ready to get a confession with the accusation. Okay, let's talk about writing a confession. We both know you did it. Dougie B. What? Nah, nah. Mm, what What would that even involve, though? God, this guy makes me sad. We've almost got him. We just need to press him on the right way. There are ways in which to press an open subject, and other ways we should press a terrified subject like this one. So... Look, you'll be fine. We'll help you compensate the victims, make things right. Ready, sign a confession. That is probably more the open one. And then listen, you low life. Sign this damn confession right now. Maybe we can keep your dumb ass out of jail. That's clearly for a scared one. So, yeah, there you go. We have successfully beaten up and intimidated a man. I don't feel like a good cop. No, not not really. Let's report our findings. Years later. Chief Anderson. Of course, yeah, we were in the academy. We're now, we're now a fully-fledged, hopefully non-horrible detective or whatever. Hey, I need you to come in on a case. You got anything, Anderson. What do you need? Fisher's brought in a set of guys. They're in the interrogation rooms. Mordecai? Blimey, someone's had a field day with these names. Hi. We have the uh, victim's husband, the only witness, and a robber that broke in. We will need your questioning magic 
a confession because all we have is circumstantial. You in? Sure thing. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 fine, fine. Well, I think for sure we are going to be, but that will have to be next time on Investigation. You will be deceived, which so far I haven't been deceived at all, but I, I'm rapidly losing confidence in that staying staying there in any way because I sense I oh god I'm going to do such a terrible job anyway join us next time to see if we beat up any more innocent actors lovely see you then